Hello and welcome to our latest tutorial for creating classic arcade games using Scratch. In this one, we're going to be look at one of the most classic games ever, Pong. So Pong was a computer game created about 50 years ago um, and it's still extremely fun to play. So after watching this tutorial, you'll be able to play this game here. Okay, and it's lots of fun. There you go. Perfect for two players, a little bit tricky for one player, but um, yeah, there you go. So that's what we're going to be coding, okay? How do we go about that? Well, watch carefully. So you click the Create button, okay? And then what you'll need to do is get yourself the following sprites, okay? So you'll need a sprite for each of these paddles, okay? That'll be the same sprite duplicated, and then a ball, okay? And then you're also going to need some lines. So let's have a look at these, okay? So you're going to have to make these yourself. It's very easy. You simply go into the drawing section here, click on it, and then create it. So create one paddle here, and then duplicate it, and that'll be your paddle for either side. Then we're also going to create a circle. So again, go in here and click the circle and create the circle the right size, okay? After that, you need to create two very long, or sorry, three very long thin lines. You can see this one here, okay? And after you've created one, you just duplicate it as well, okay? Those thin lines are going to be the kind of goal lines um, and also the uh, center line as well, okay? So they're the sprites that we need. Like I said, it's best to create those yourselves because they don't really have them in the sprite library, okay? So just go to the drawing, the paint option, sorry, and create it yourself. Okay, we're going to start off by coding um, the paddles or the bats, and that's pretty straightforward. So as always, we get our green flag, okay, and then we say go to Actually, I want this to go to uh, zero, so it's right in the middle. Okay, so let's have a look at what happens when that we do that. Okay, good, yeah. So right in the middle there. Okay, actually, you can make it 225, might be a little bit better. Fine, it's 225, let's be right on the line then. Okay, great. Then we have to uh, code it so that when we click um, up and down, it goes up and down. For the left side player, um, I suggest using the W and S key, and then for the right side player, um, using the up and down arrows. That way they can both play on the same keyboard without any trouble. Okay, so if, if, okay, so we'll use uh, W for up. W for up and then S for down. Okay, good. And obviously that changes. So we go back to motion. Um, motion, yep. Change Y by 10. And then change Y by minus 10. Okay, so we've done the first one. Let's just make sure that's working before we do anything else. So click play. Yeah, W and S, there you go. It's working absolutely fine. Okay, great. Okay, what we can do now is, as we've done the code for the first one, we can actually copy the code over to the second one. Okay. Um, but then all we need to do then is just change where we want it to start. Okay. So instead of starting at minus 225, we just start at plus 225. And instead of being the um, W and S key, we want it to be the up arrow and down arrow. It's very easy, we just duplicate the code. Okay, so let me click that. And yeah, up and down key working on this side and W and S working on this side. Okay, great. Now let's move on to coding the, the ball. So there's a little bit more code to do in this one. Okay, a few more things that we need to add. Okay, so what we're gonna do on this one, we're going to code five things. First thing is um, just the general bounce of the ball, bouncing the ball around. Second thing is going to be uh, what happens when it hits the bats. 
second and third thing that is and then the last thing we'll do is um, when the ball goes out okay so the general coding of the activity so we're going to start go to start right in the middle go to zero zero um, point in the direction yep so we'll point it straight towards uh, one of the uh, players we don't make it too difficult at the moment And then just start moving, okay. And then after that, we're going to let the kind of the bounce of the ball determine where it goes, okay. Okay, so let's see if that works now. There we go, it's bouncing around, bouncing around. Okay, good. Right. Now then, what happens um, if it hits the bat? So here we go. Whatever. And the good thing is we can just code one of these and we can copy the code over, okay? So forever if touching Okay, and you can add a sound here if you like. I think it's kind of fun to add a sound to this one. Oh yeah, good, I've got my... So I already added the sounds here, the in sound, the out sound, and the loose sound, again, the pop sound. So, um, Okay, and then what I'm also gonna do is, um, we're gonna have scores in here as well now. So head down to our variables, okay? And you make a make a score, P1 score and a P2 score. Okay, so we uh, can keep track of how they're doing. Okay, and if it goes to this one, then I will increase the. Oh, I need to move those around. Okay, P1 and P2. Okay. So if this player hits the ball, then he gets a increase his score by one point. And then we'll just wait a second after that, or half a second. Okay, now this is the code for this one. Okay, and then what I'm just going to do is duplicate this and uh, put it over here. Okay, and that's exactly the same except we just change it from straight sprite four to sprite five, and we change the score from P1 to P2. Okay, now let's see if that works now. Yeah, good. Okay, yeah, so you can see that every time it hits the bat, they're getting a point, okay? Now, what we need to do is code what happens when it goes out, okay? So we get over here, forever, if, okay, and it's going to be if touching either of these, okay? And these are the sprites on either side here, okay? So... or sprite 3. Okay, and if it touches either of those, then it's game over, okay? End or stop ball. Yeah. Okay, I think we're pretty much done already. So you see, very straightforward. Okay, it bounces up. Gets a score. What happens if I miss it? Game over. There you go. Nice and easy, an absolute classic game. Easy to code and an awful lot of fun. And of course, you can, um, you know, you can uh, make it a bit more difficult by speeding it up or, um, you know, adding different things or changing the direction in which it bounces and what have you. Um, when you finish, remember to write the name of it. So this is a classic pong game, and then hit the share button. Okay, you can share with your friends and you can play online. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. Another easy game to create with Scratch.
coding. If you've enjoyed it, please click like and check out all of our other videos. Thanks for watching.